We're here at the West Bend Country Club and it's a great day, but more importantly, we're raising a lot of money for the foundation, which really means not the foundation, but for the students who really need the assistance for paying tuition. That's really what the foundation is about. And one of the areas that the foundation has really worked on is something I call named endowed funds. Well, an endowment fund is simply an investment fund where the money is invested and then every year money is taken out of that, basically the earnings, and then use that for student assistance or even college scholarships. And we've got about a dozen, 13 of those right now. And my guest today is Craig Wolf. Craig and his family have actually created two named endowed funds. So I think he's really a great guest for us to talk a little bit about that and explain how this all works. So Craig, thanks for joining me. Glad to be here, Paul. First of all, Craig, I've got to ask, what was the motivation to say, I want to create an, a named and out fund? Sure. I would say that um, it was multifaceted when it comes to the reasons why. Some of it is business. In, in my business at EH Wolf & Sons, we noticed that there was a need for trades. And so part of the motivation is related to having a named scholarship or a scholarship that would go towards a tech school or trade school was because of the need that we see in so many of different areas. And for us, it's welders, it's mechanics, it's truck drivers, but it goes on from there. There's so much of a need for that. But then also as it relates to tuition assistance for students that are going to KML, I've been there, I know what it's like to make those payments and, and making sure that you have the funds coming in. And we as a, a family and a company wanted to also help out where there's a need for that. That's fantastic. And as Craig indicated, he, their family actually has two named endowed funds, one for the tech trade schools. And so students, yeah, I think KML maybe has been associated just with four year education after high school. And, and that clearly isn't the goal of Kettle. And I don't think it's even a reality. And more and more, we have students that are saying, I think the technical college of the trade schools is an option. Mm -hmm. Great jobs but maybe they aren't aware of them and some encouragement is helping them make those decisions. And so a named to down fund like that is really, really helping these kids, maybe helping your business in the end. Um, and then the other thing is the, the student assistance mm -hmm. and be able to support that and, and just having a growing enrollment and the needs there. But Craig, I have to ask you, so you've got these, how hard was it to create this? It was not difficult at all, Paul. And I mean, it's as simple as communicating with KML. And even if you're calling in, they'll direct you in the right path, getting connected up to yourself or to anybody. Back in the day, Dave Bartelt was there and he certainly assisted with it. But even after getting it set up, making changes along the way was seamless. You just, you look at the scholarship and you say, okay, maybe we should be making these changes to it or going in a different direction. Not difficult at all, very seamless. Good. And yeah, if anybody's interested in learning more, I'm happy to help you and be able to create this. Now, one thing that, that Craig and I have talked about in the past is how much money do you need to start a named endowed fund? Well, $10,000 is the minimum, but we have some that are much larger. But for a lot of people, if you can't give a $10,000 gift to start it, we could start with smaller amounts and build it up over time. Mm -hmm. We're very flexible in helping people create what they're looking for. And so Craig has created one for trade and technical colleges for student assistance. We also have named endowed funds for MLC students or for students that have specific disabilities that they need to sure. overcome. So there are a lot of different areas that people can say, this is my passion. Boy, I'd really like to support it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you want to add, Craig? I do, Paul. I, in my first eight years of school, I was in a public school and I was fortunate and blessed to be able to go to Kettle Moraine Lutheran for my high school year. So I understand what the difference is between an education that's based on God and God's Word compared to a public education. And it's that knowledge that has created some of the passion that 
comes behind us and what we want to do for KML to help other students to have that same ability to attend a Christian-based school like Kettle Moraine Lutheran High School. The mission at Kettle Moraine, of course, is to educate, encourage, and equip God's people. And that's what our passion is, and that's what KML's is, and, and we're all for that. Fantastic. And, and yeah, that's exactly what the foundation does to, to encourage more of those students to be able to come. It, it, it's been exciting because every year it seems like we've been saying another record enrollment, another record enrollment. And, and again, I can tell you, it looks like for the fall, another record enrollment, which means more students. And, and fortunately, we get to serve them. That was the first half of our episode, talking to Mr. Craig Wolf and, and the way that they created a named endowed fund in honor of the company business, E.H. Wolf & Sons. That was something that they chose to do, and they chose two specific named endowed funds because those were things that were special to them, but were not limited just to those. My guest for the second half is Mr. Russ Geiger, and Russ is gonna tell a little bit about his experience, a little bit similar, a little bit different than what you saw with, with Mr. Wolf. So, Russ, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. I wanna first of all ask, what led you to create the fund that you did? My wife and I both truly believe in Christian education and uh, we wanted to give to that in a way that was through the foundation it would be sustaining it would go on and on and on for years we particularly picked uh, students to go to MLC because we see the need for teachers so badly mm -hmm. so it was that was basically it the Christian education belief you know and that's so important because here at Kettle Marine Lutheran High School of course we encourage the, the students to live their faith and, and to serve in various ways. And, and a number of them would like to be in the public ministry, pastors and teachers, but, but there is a financial component and being able to offer that scholarship does encourage some of those kids that might be a little bit on the fence to be able to say, yes, that's something that I'd like to, like, I'd like to do. How easy was it to create this fund? It was pretty much a zip swish. You are so easy to work with, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> and I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's really not that difficult. It's a matter of understanding what you're doing, sitting down, a little paperwork, and write a check, and you're done. And, and it really is that easy. And, and the other thing is, based on what Mr. Wolf said and now what Mr. Geiger is saying, you know, there are different ways that you can customize this. That's why we're calling it a named endowed fund, because it's specific to the things that you might be interested in. And, and for, for Craig and his family, it was student assistance here at KML. And it was encouraging kids to go into the trades. For Russ and, and his wife, Nancy, it was encouraging kids to go into the public ministry and so supporting MLC. And there are many other types of named endowed funds we have, so we're not limited in any way by just what we currently have. I, you know, what would you say to encourage other people, Russ, as far as doing something similar here with a named endowed fund? I don't know. It's uh, if you have an idea of what you want to support, um, maybe, maybe, maybe it is technical education. I know college isn't for everyone, but college is very important if you're going to go into a skilled business like teaching, doctoring, psychiatry, any of that kind of stuff. You got to go to college. You can't do it in a trade school, but trade schools are important. We need those kind of people too. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of ways you can do it, and uh, I encourage anybody to, to do it. The named fun is, I did it as the Geiger family, hoping that my family will continue it after I'm mm -hmm. gone. That was the idea with, the, with naming it, that it's just not kind of lost in the, in the shuffle. Mm -hmm. so. and, and that's another thing that we found, that people will create these but they can conti continue contributing or other family members or friends could contribute as well to see an even bigger impact. Right. Um, I, I think right now we have, I, I think if I remember right, about 15 of these named endowed funds. We'd certainly like to see that grow. And so we encourage you to consider that. I and mean, that's why we're doing this vlog this month because we feel that there's, there's a real value in these. You know, obviously for the KML students, but also for the families that maybe are looking for a special way that they can support what's going on here at KML and beyond. Russ, is there anything else you want to add? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's good. Pretty much covered it. I love this school. I love the Christian education. What else can I say? You know, Th That kind of sums it up, doesn't it? Yep. Thank you again for tuning in. 
Uh, these named endowed funds really are making an impact. The amount of money that we can give to our current KML students and their families for tuition assistance, as well as our KML graduates as they move on beyond KML, this is so valuable. There just isn't funding for some of these areas except through these special funds. So consider your own. And if that's the case, give me a call. Send me an email. I would love to be able to work with you to customize your own fund. And remember, we do this because it's your life, it's your plan, and it's your legacy. We'll see you next month.